Hey, y'all. I'm Anthony Herrera, Furman's Institute for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, and I'm excited to be joined today by the one and the only Professor Ross McLean. Ross, in certain circles of the university, is thought of as the godfather of innovation. Ross, welcome to this edition of the August newsletter for 2021. How are you doing, Ross? Thrilled to be here, Anthony. Thanks for uh, allowing me to come on here and uh, talk a little bit to, uh, to all your 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 fans out there and uh all the the paladins so glad to be we, here you bet man we got a great fan base for the institute of innovation entrepreneurship and in fact you are joining us as a co-faculty director alongside professor angelica lozano alonso yeah you know what does that mean and are you excited to be doing this oh man i'm, I'm thrilled to be doing it, especially to be with angelica i mean she's just so super she's a rock star over in the humanities and i've been watching the things that she's been doing and more specifically i've been watching the things that the institute's been doing and you guys you know you and i've gone back along a, a little bit of ways uh, since you got here and when i met you uh, i knew that you were going to be instrumental in getting us over the hump that we needed to get to and you know i was right dead on and ever since i've been trying to figure out a way to connect with you uh in so many ways and it is just an honor and thrill to be able to uh be a co-director and keep keep up the work and get us on a trajectory that uh is way much needed in, in this in this little area that we play in this market we play in so be fun well right you know and that's exciting right you know ball yep. guys find each other on the campus but more importantly you've been You've been at this for the better part of almost close to two decades, right? And you've been yep. cultivating innovation. You, you know, you were the former chair of the art department here at Furman University. You're currently the director of the Masters of Arts and Strategic Design. Yep. And you've been cultivating innovation for, like I said, 20 years. What does that look like? And what does that mean for you to now have an institute that you're a part of, but also helping kind of moving forward the mission? Uh, it's it's instrumental in so many ways and to, to get there, you know, faculty aren't accustomed sometimes to getting out of their lane. Uh, and, it, you know, and I mean that in, in the most, uh, the best way possible, because typically we're hired to do a certain thing and we're not really charged with moving the university in, in a direction uh, that is uh, beyond uh, the classroom, right? And so, uh, my experience in art allowed me to have a glimpse as to what value we're really bringing to, to the students. And um, I understood really quickly after working with many students that what we needed to do was to, you know, that college to career mentality, you know, let them begin to understand the importance of what we teach in the art department and how it connects to other things that they're interested in and support their pathway and then connect with those other departments to understand what it is they're actually teaching and how specifically creativity ties in uh, to what they're doing. So yeah, um, yeah so that's, that's kind of how we got here and how I really got connected with what you guys were doing. Because as we know, I mean, you know, LinkedIn put creativity is the number one uh, skill set um, uh, that the world needs right now. And who better to do that but liberal arts students and more specifically, you know, the art department right yeah. so that's what the, that's what it's been about and it's about flipping that switch back on and igniting these kids because they're they're just fantastic and all they need to do is have a little bit of light shined on their creativity and empower them and that's right and you know in fact i want to talk about because this is nothing new to you right you have been providing platforms and programs for students to cultivate mm -hmm. and foster that creativity even students who are not traditional what we think is art majors and one of the ones i want to talk about that you championed about three years ago is the 24 hour pitch, you know, sleep when you're dead pitch mm -hmm. competition. What is that and why has that been so important for Furman University? Right, thanks for asking. So, right, so a lot of times students don't come into the art department, right? They either, you know, they're afraid, they think it's frivolous, they don't have any, any, any time in their schedule. So the idea was, well, let's create events. Let's create things that will allow them to come play with us in a short amount of time. And there's just, you know, a low risk and, uh, the uncomfortableness can be overshadowed by the excitement about what they're doing and so we built a, a, an event called sleep when you're dead a 24-hour brand and uh, pitch a marathon and so what they do is we get students from all over campus lots of different majors come and play with us and we give them a 
uh, a brief, uh, basically a problem to solve in 24 hours. And then they uh, stay up all night along with our graduate students. And uh, then they pitch it the next day and they're awarded prize money. And then the winners um, can go on and uh, move forward into the Paladin pitch. So it's really exciting. And because of what you're doing and the platforms you're building, we can connect with them in a, in a similar way. And so then that way we're, we're peppering innovation and entrepreneurship throughout, throughout campus. So it becomes a mindset, right? Uh, our students are kind of ex accepting it. And I'm, I'm seeing this more and more where students are really beginning to lean into their entrepreneurship right. um, uh, mindset. And we're here to support that and teach them. And and I love it, right? And you're right. This is quickly a great, you know, partnership and collaboration to bring in the arts because of the creativity, right? Most of us have been told to kind of suppress that creativity. Usually when we're like six, seven, eight years old, it's like, hey, no right. more doodling, no more, you know, building things. And we're bringing that back. And that is at the heart of what innovation and entrepreneurship is. And so, you know, I want to wrap us up here. Got about another minute. Um, you're joining on, like I said, co-faculty director alongside Angelica. Um, you know, what do you see, you know, we're back on campus, you know, all the students are back. It's a lot of energy. You know, I know it looks like I'm actually in a, a, a big drone floating over the campus is just a picture in the background, but you're back. What are your three things that you hope to accomplish through the Institute of Innovation Entrepreneurship for the university this year with Angelica? Uh, well, right away, I think we ought to have a, mo a minor. I'd like to start establishing a minor in entrepreneurship, right? Um, I'd like to begin to uh, bring the Master's Institute Design program closer and more in line with uh, the Institute. And I want to see um, uh, the Institute become central to uh, the mission of, of what Furman's all about. You know, you have the library and you have and uh, in, in, in campus, the library usually becomes the central part of the academic, you know, rigor of what we're doing, right? And I, I want to see entrepreneurship being aligned right there with that as a centerpiece to it. So we, become, it. we could become a conduit through um, through the different uh, uh, departments and their pursuit and their pathway. And I think they need to be uh, meandering along in, in there. We can stimulate that innovation and uh, creativity. I that. love it. There you go, man. We're going to put your office right there in the bell tower and slap Good. innovation entrepreneurship on it. So there you have it, folks. Professor yeah. Ross McClain coming on as co-faculty director. A lot of things coming up this year. He's tying in closer to this Master's of Arts and Strategic Design, a little bit more aligned of innovation and entrepreneurship. Yeah. Hey, maybe a, a minor in innovation and entrepreneurship coming online soon. One more thing. Oh, one more thing. Andy. Oh, it keeps hey. coming. Let's hear I know. it, I just, You know, you just keep going, man. I get around you and it just kind of keeps flowing out. But I also want to see a, a new, another track within our master's program. I do want to see build that out, something like an innovation management or something. I think that's going to be, you know, just a very powerful uh, addition to what we're doing. So. You know, I, there you know. have it. Our fans, our followers, our supporters are going to love that, Ross. We're really excited. Uh, and there's more to come from you. And so, again, oh. this is just an introduction. So thank you for joining. We look forward to working with you this year. Um, until next month, we'll see you all later. Enjoy it.